Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be building the CP7018. This is the second her CP heritage unit that I've built. Here is the 7021 right over here. This is That's the previous one that I've built. And here is my new design for it. A um, couple of things that I changed from the 7021. So, first off, I have one more thing to change. So that's not accurate. This needs to be a chain. What I also did is I uh, added in this little walkway grid right here. I also made the stripes uh, go around and diagonally down. Once, for some reason, I also didn't do the trucks how I wanted, so I fixed that on this version here. And, uh, uh, just like the AC, it's like the other one. I've been struggling to really figure out what design I should do for it, but I think we're just gonna keep the design that we did over here. I think we're just gonna add some red glass panes. And uh, I used crimson, because it's kind of like a maroon color, and I think crimson works best. It's not the best, but uh, it works. And I uh, also, improved my radiator design so what i did is i added in a fence gate right over here because it's like a little central divider and i also there's uh there's a it's not really like two of full block and it's not really two blocks so added in stone slops with the uh, crimson behind it, and uh, there's actually a little uh, cornered thing here, so we're gonna change that quickly. It's actually cornered, it's like we're gonna add in this uh, stone stairs here, corner, and I kept the same door design. In reality, there would be like a little gray part here on top, but I, I can't really add that. Uh, as you could see, I used a lot more 3D effects on this for like the stripes in the front because they do go down quite a bit. I also improved the PTC antenna design because I used the light gray wool. And one characteristic, the SC70 ACU, is that there's like a little, little uh, indent, I think, that comes down into it. So we're going to add that there in the future. And uh, since I had all those carpets there, I removed them. So I was able to add in these roof, this roof detail. And there's actually a vent here. That I didn't get to add there. And uh, I think I'm gonna improve this. I think I'm gonna have it actually, I think I'm gonna have the stairs like I did here, like say Canadian Pacific. Um, you know, like it starts here and I just might have CN. Canadian, and then I can have Pacific, actually, I'm going to not have it like that, we're going to add it like that, and uh, I also, what I did for this one is I actually modified it from the 7021, so there might be a little of those spots in there of where it's still, uh, the uh so c 
Erica. So it's right side up, upside down, 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 facing in this way. And then a light gray wool. And then upside down, right side up, upside down. So upside down, right side up, upside down. Yeah, I think that looks best. So it's just Canadian Pacific in there. And uh, we're gonna also add in the light gray wool in here. This needs to be light gray wool. And also this needs to I understand the horn underneath. It's I don't know if it's a uh, gray or not, but uh, gonna need to add that. But uh, so ooh, you've got this nice Canadian Pacific lettering. And uh, once, if I could change one thing, I would make this red glass and carpet and. The banner is darker, but like a maroon, but I couldn't do that. So what we're going to do for this build is we're going to build half the one half of it first, and then we're going to copy it. Uh, you, I'm going to show you it with world at it, so there's no struggles. So there'll be no struggles. But uh, yeah, hope you guys... Enjoy the new design. Let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the left half of it first. So you know, first we take out this polished black stone brick stairs slab, a dark oak slab, fence gate chain block, acacia fence gate, oak trap door, and slab, fence gate and fence. And that's all we can fit for right now. So, first off, we're gonna build the plow. So, let's go ahead and line it up here. We have a stairs cornered here. Make them two of these stairs. Actually, no, we're gonna decide. Decide we're gonna build, uh, let's build the side. So, stairs here. We've cornered on the side of it down to the side right side up here to the side of the middle and upside down on the side of that okay chef fence gate here in the middle I'm gonna open that up we're gonna need this we're gonna need a uh, black concrete actually no what is this polished black stone brick Put that in two blocks wide so with the polished black stone brick stairs underneath in the middle and a dark oak fence gate to the side. We're gonna add in a dark oak slab here, dark oak fence gate underneath, and to the side of it, open that up. Chain block to the side. And uh, we're gonna add in these two polished black stone brick slabs with an oak slab here. Right. And another oak slab on top. And then a polished black stone brick slab here in the middle. I'm gonna make, we're gonna add in the trap door here. And uh, we're gonna also need this end stone brick wall. That here with oak fence surrounding it. We need smooth quartz block and an item frame. So add in an item frame here with smooth quartz block inside. Take out this uh, oak fence gate. We're gonna double stack them here. And uh, add in like here and another chain in the middle. And a chain in the middle. And don't worry, uh, if you 
you guys should get a world at it. If I remember, I'll link uh, uh, the mod down in the description and how to install it. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take out this polished wax and brick stairs. And we're going to add one facing towards the front, upside down. Polished wax and brick. And slop. Do the same thing again. And again, but without the slab in the back. And instead of that slab, we're going to add in a dark oak fence key. So now we're going to build the truck. So we're going to need this gray terracotta, this dark oak stairs, hopper, dark oak fence gate, polished black stone brick slab, stairs, and the wall. So first up, we're going to add in this gray terracotta, take down dark oak stairs, hopper, and do the same thing again. And again. Alright. And we're going to need this polished black stone brick block. Add in a 2x2. Two two. Skip a block, add in a 2x2. Two two. Skip a block, add in another 2x2. Two two. We're going to make sure all the ones in the middle are filled in. And in those gaps, we're gonna add in this polished black stone brick wall. Standard design with a polished black stone brick stairs upside down facing towards the front. I'm going to add in this hopper to the sides of all these terracottas. Dark oak fence case to the sides of all these stairs. And polished black stone brick slabs to the sides of all these hoppers. With another dark oak fence gate here in the back to open that up. So we're going to add in this polished black stone brick stairs here. And a slab. Upper slab right over here and then skip, and then two slabs skip a block and two slabs and in that corner there we're gonna under this dark oak trap door all right so this is the truck part so we're gonna now make the fuel tank so we're gonna add in this two by two of this polished black stone brick. And we're gonna make it so it's gonna be, and uh, the stairs to the side, upside down, and we're gonna make it 12 blocks long. So stack it. Right there, so that should be 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy all of this and we're gonna build it in the back. So, copy. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna copy. Uh, first position here, second position. Copy it. Temporary block here. I'm gonna flip it. And we're gonna paste it. There. Oh. Oh. Hold on, I didn't select the positions correctly. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try that again. So, I'm gonna select the first position here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build up, we're going to come over here, we're going to build up right there. Now that should work, so there we're going to copy, we're going to copy it, we're going to flip it, and we're going to paste it here and uh, for some reason when I use world edit it doesn't transfer over the entities which is like this headlight this ditch light here so 
I need to re-add that in manually. Oh, that's weird. All right, hold on a second. Let's just fix that up here. That's really weird. I don't know why I did that. That was weird. Hold on. Because I need to copy it exactly. All right. So I know I literally just built that, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to take out this polished black stone brick, delete this L shape here of stone brick stairs, I mean of polished black stone brick stairs, and then add in an L shape of this uh, polished black stone brick stairs. That was just because I forgot to add that. That's the why. That's the reason why. Put that in. Oh. Oh, hooray. So, do it. Ugh. Ugh. Hold on. Second. And select the POS correctly. Oh, gosh. Now, let's not. Let's undo that. And we're going to delete all this. And what we're going to do is we're going to try again. Okay, so you're gonna come right over here, go to, select, all the way up here, do slash slash POS2. Alright, now we're gonna copy. Flip and paste. All right, so here we go. All right, so now we're gonna do this, delete the L shape and add in. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now that we have made the base, that is pretty much it for the base. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started on this cab area. So we're gonna get Let's get started, we're going to take out this light gray wool block, oak slab, red concrete, birch button, stone stairs, that's all we're going to take out for right now, so first off, we're going to add it in this oak slab, upper slab, three blocks wide here in the middle with a uh, two blocks wide of light gray wool behind it we're actually gonna make this a uh, two by two another three oak slabs on the another three upper oak slabs on top I'm gonna delete this oak slab here I believe yep and we're gonna add in a red concrete here with a birch button in the front of that. It's gonna set Canadian Pacific. All right, now we're gonna make this two by two here of this light gray wool. Stone stairs with another stone stairs to make this first one here cornered. And we're gonna take out a white bed and an item frame. And we add that in right there. Now, what a lot of YouTubers do, like one of the main YouTubers, Crafty Fox, what he does, he cuts out the world edit part, but I keep in the world edit part because uh, that's one of the main things. So, what we're gonna do right now, actually, nah, we're gonna add in the cabs. So, we're gonna take out this black glass pane, like gray stained glass pane, black stained glass block, iron bar this birch fence gate, stone stairs, this uh, dark oak sign. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back a block here and we're gonna add in this upside down L shape here with this light gray wool. Two of these black stained glass here, iron bars to the side of it. And we're gonna need this black concrete we're gonna make this a two by two 
birch fence gate here to the side. A stone stairs, we're gonna make them three. Standard cab design. And we're gonna need a crimson trap door. Add that in right here. And we're gonna add in this, these two diagonal of those light gray wools and iron bars with a birch sign on top. So we're gonna add in this birch sign here and make one going straight across and then one going diagonally. And we're gonna add in light gray carpets on top and on these two front ones here. We're gonna also add in the stone button. Make that two of them diagonally. Like so. We're gonna add in this light black stained glass paint. Light gray stained glass paint here with the black stained glass next to it. Birch sign here. You can put a, any number between seven zero. So from seven zero one zero to seven zero one five seven zero one four it's gonna be this design for the thing but for any but for set but for this one specific one that I'm building seven zero one eight they're pretty much the same but for seven zero one eight it's gonna be the buttons like I had earlier because it's it's actually script but yeah I just wanted to point that out so what we're gonna do is we're now gonna work on this side design. So we're gonna take out oak stairs, delete this two by two here. Actually, we're gonna add in two of these oak stairs here, another oak stairs on top. Oops, wrong side. Over here, add in two oak stairs. And the one on top, and we're gonna replace that light gray wool. Light gray wool here on top with the two with one behind it. We make this two blocks tall here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in crimson stairs and planks. So we're gonna add in crimson stairs here upside down facing towards the front. Crimson planks. And under that crimson planks, there's going to be another crimson stairs. Upside down facing towards the front. Ugh. Right over here. And we're going to pretty much fill... Hold on a second. We're gonna fill the rest of this in here, this light gray wool. So we're gonna make that L shape here. We're gonna add in this light gray wool behind these stairs here. All right. And I just gonna make sure. Let's see. So. Now we're gonna take out the stone button here. And we're gonna add it in right over here. We're gonna delete this with light gray wool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have oak slabs going all the way across to the back. And I'm using petrified oak slabs because uh, I just don't know why, because that's what. That's what I took out when I originally made it, and they obviously don't burn in the fire, so uh, I guess. But we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this slab here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna make the door banners. So we're gonna need a loom, a black banner with red dye, two of them. 
and we're gonna go into our loom here I had a black banner with the border around it a red border around it and a line going across the bottom half that's it and we're gonna add that to the back of the cab here right there all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in crimson planks some stairs I'm gonna add in this crimson stairs here the crimson planks and we're gonna make a two by three so uh, actually two by two of this crimson planks we're gonna add in two here in the middle come back out add in one And in that central part, I'm going to delete this here. We're going to add in these two polished blackstone bricks with a crimson slab in the front. Actually, this is going to stay like that. We're going to add in, just going to add in that. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in another crimson stairs here with the crimson planks to the side of it and we're gonna need a crimson slab and stairs so now we're gonna add in two crimson stairs and then we're gonna add in three crimson slabs in the middle so one two three add in a dark oak fence gate here and then add in another two with a with two crimson slabs here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna move on to the back area. So I'm gonna need this crimson planks, polished blackstone brick, red glass pane, smooth stone slab white bed item frame crimson stairs so i'm going to take out for this moment so crimson planks here in the middle two polished blackstone bricks a crimson planks indented here with the smooth stone slab Right over here with the crimson planks on top. And come out like so. And delete this here. Add in a crimson stairs by the space slab at an item frame with a white bed inside. And we're gonna twist it to make it horizontal. Next, we're gonna add in this vent here in the back. So, so we can take out some stones, stone stairs, slab, crimson stairs, polished blackstone bricks, and a crimson fence gate. First up, actually, we're gonna add a add in these two crimson fence gates. I mean, crimson fence gates. Uh, red glass panes. No, I think we might change that later on. Let's we'll see if we can. And we're gonna add in this crimson stairs with a polished blackstone brick block. We're gonna need a crimson trap door. Add that in here, close that up. With a stone stairs here with a stone slab on top. Add in a two by three here of this of this polished black stone bricks and I'm gonna add in a crimson fence key here open that up I'm gonna delete these two red glass panes actually I'm gonna add in a crimson fence instead actually no we're gonna keep it as the red glass panes sorry about that y'all that's just me 
just, you know, deal with it. Anyway, so now what we're going to need to do is we're going to add in this 2x2 two two here of this crimson planks. We're going to add in two bedrocks. Those of y'all in survival, use polished black sun break. I t add in crimson button and stone button. Add in a stone button here with crimson buttons on top of the two of them and then on top of here. Two of them. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in these crimson planks. And we're gonna make them one, two, three, four, five, six blocks long. So we're gonna skip this block here. We're gonna add six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Take out crimson stairs here, add in two of them, like so, and then add another two over here. Like this. We're gonna skip a block here, add a crimson plank, skip two, add in another. Add a crimson stairs here on the edges, and then back to back here in the middle part. And we're gonna add in crimson stairs to the side. Add in daylight detector, crimson trap door. We're going to add in these daylight detectors, make them blue. And we're going to add in these crimson trap doors here behind them. Like to make this thing here. And uh, we're going to add in this crimson stairs here to the tips of it. With polished black stone brick stays here in the middle. And uh, we're gonna add in one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Add in a two by six of these uh, crimson planks. Okay, and we're going to add in crimson planks indented here. And we're going to add in stone slabs. Add in them. Upper slabs. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And under, and then oh, we're gonna extend this all to the end of that. And same thing on the inside. Right over here. And we're gonna take out like gray wool add in that all on the inside part here and I'm I don't think that's symmetrical now so I'll block off okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in these crimson trap doors add them in These crimson trap doors here. We're gonna take out this crimson partial play, add in one here. We're gonna let's see, is there anything else that we can do? I don't think so. So 
Oh, what we can do. I think this is on both sides, actually, huh? Oh, no. 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 Okay. So, what we're going to do is, uh, I believe this is pretty much the symmetrical part. But before we added that, we're going to take out this uh, crimson button here, add this in here, and then add in these three here with another one right over here. Take out this crimson, I mean this red carpet, add in one right over here. And on top of these two here and the slab. All right. Let's see, is there anything else that we can do? All right, I don't see anything else. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy everything that we did. This side here, and we're gonna paste it on the other half. So I'm gonna take out this world edit. As I said, I'm gonna leave all the world edit stuff in. These two light gray walls. Select the first position. Okay, let's give it a second here. Hold on a second. Okay, so we're gonna select the first position, and we're gonna come all the way over here and we're going to select the second position all right now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here we're going to do copy copy here add in temporary block with the slab on top we're going to flip it this way and we're going to paste it right here. And that is it. I believe. Yep. Hold on. Sometimes they don't transfer real well. And I've got to add in the item frame. i got to add in the lights. Alright, so now that we've got both halves, it should look like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and add in two of these oak fence gates, open them up and add in one right here. Open that one up with this oak button on top like so. What we're going to do is we're going to add in these two polished black stone bricks with a crimson plank right here on the other side adding crimson planks here with uh, crimson stairs right over here so like that and I'm just gonna cover this up here and, uh, and we're just gonna fill Oh, for some reason. Here, that's gonna go out there one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna also fill this part in, All right? So it's like this. All right. So what we're gonna do here is it depends which unit we're building. So if you're building, so I'm gonna show you 701. Zero to seven zero one five to seven zero one four, which you're gonna need to do. You can add in right side up of these stairs here, upside down, right side up, and then an upside down facing towards the front. So block here, we're gonna add an upside down, right side up. Oh, we're actually gonna extend this by one. This thing here is going to extend by one here, and it's, that's where it's going to start, so 
just started a block early and then right side up upside down right side up upside down so that's what you're gonna do if you're gonna do let's see, this lettering here and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side just reversed so it's gonna be the four and then the three here but since I'm not doing that so, and since this is for the tutorial bit I'm gonna and that's pretty much what, what, what you're gonna do actually that's pretty much it that's what you're gonna do for both versions actually because uh actually for both versions we're just gonna add in this light gray wool here for both versions so Actually, it's actually too big if we have all that. Uh, we need to add in. How do I, do I have one? Don't think so. I'm just gonna take one out. It's polished black stone brick button. And we're gonna add in four here, and then add in three. So four and then three. <laughs> All right, so for this side, that's gonna be pretty much it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move back onto this side I'm gonna need this red glass pane, this crimson stairs, crimson trap door, and then stone stairs. So come right to this last. So we're gonna light it up with this last uh, still a uh, polished black stone brick stairs here, the most front, the close one in the front. Add an upside down stone stairs, followed by right side up crimson with a red glass pane with uh, crimson planks on the inside and then a red glass pane here. Crimson trap door, close that up. All right. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna work on this side here. So we're gonna need to add in so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these crimson planks here. So one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stone stairs here. We're gonna add in two stone slops with another stone stairs facing towards the front here. These two stone slabs actually these three stone slabs and what we're going to do is we're going to have this polished black stone brick blocks behind all of them and we're going to have this like gray wool go all the way to the front going to add in these red glass panes right in front of this thing here so these two red glass panes gonna take out this birch sign here add in one right on this first slab here and one right down here gonna need this birch button right over here and take out this crimson fence gate add in this one here open that up 
with this warped fence gate on top. It's gonna be the, the nether duo. So the warped and crimson. Comment down below if you know what I mean by the nether duo. All right, so now we're gonna take out this crimson door stairs, stone stairs, slab, it's light gray wool. Let's just do it because this is just already the most confusing part. Easily the most confusing part of the ACU. Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in three blocks of this crimson slab. Daylight detector here, right on the edge of it. What we're gonna do is you're gonna come right under here, delete the stone slab here with we're gonna replace it with the stone stairs upside down add in this crimson plank underneath the crimson door right over here and we're gonna add in this all the way we're gonna add in a yeah, I just add it in to right here. Just add in this block here, and we're just gonna have it to like there's a block of space here in between. And we're gonna skip a block, and we're gonna add in stone slabs till that little break here. We're gonna need this stone stairs again. Add it in upside down we're gonna add, keep on adding in this crimson and we're gonna make it two blocks tall here I delete this stone slab here and like gray wool delete this here we're gonna move this in inward here with the two these like gray things here we're gonna delete this temp we're gonna delete this add in crimson stairs we add that button take out red glass pane add that in here with two of these light gray glass panes on top All right, so now we're gonna add in the handrails. So for this side, add in two blocks tall, this cryptic fence block, two blocks tall. And we're gonna do that all the way until we get to the, the box over there. So right here, I'm gonna come over here, add in this crimson fence and a fence gate. Fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate, fence, fence gate, and then a fence. And we're going to add in this crimson fence gate right over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, add in crimson fence gate, add in two of them here, and then a crimson fence right there. And that's just how it's going to go down. And then the fence gates here in between.
Okay. Now for the other side, it's gonna be nearly the same. Not too far off, so have these two blocks tall. Here, skip a block, two blocks tall. Skip a block, I'm gonna add in a two by two here. And then we're gonna add in the two blocks tall all the way. Till we get to that little box over there. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, add in two blocks tall, crimson fence gate. And then we're gonna add in two by two here with one sticking out here. And then we're gonna add in crimson fence gates here in between. Alright, now that we've got that, alright, <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're going to come right over here to this last light gray wool, come down and we're going to add in crimson buttons all the way. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna come right after this trap door here, at like great walls, get block like great walls, get block like great wall. Actually, you don't need specifically like great wall. You, I just add stuff to the block that I've got. Just add in any solid block that isn't a slab, and then we're gonna add in buttons here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move them inwards using world edit right here. I'm gonna do the same thing over. Actually, over here, we're gonna add in this birch button. I mean, this crimson button. Go down under it, and we're gonna add in. Do the same thing that we did for the birch buttons. So we're gonna move it inward using world edit. Over here, it's going to be a lot easier, so add in a birch button here, skip a block, we're going to add in three, skip a block, we're going to add in one, then I believe it's a, uh, uh, that's weird, uh, this, uh, yeah, crimson buttons all the way to the door there, so. And we're over here, crimson buttons, all the way over here to the door right here. Take out this birch sign, and we're going to line it up with this little indent thing in here. Go down, add in birch sign. And we're going to fill this part in with this light gray wall. So yeah, and that's pretty much it, I think. Except where you, what you can do is you can add in this. If you want, you can add in this uh, glow ink sack here. And we're gonna add in this uh, crimson sign. And we're going to put it in here. And we can add in the glow ink sacks. And uh, let's see how long are we... I guess I can show you the numbers. So we're going to take out a red banner red banner with red dye and a yellow dye they're pretty easy so i can show you so i'm gonna add in a red banner yellow dye line across the top 
that back in, line going diagonally like so, put that back in, and a border. Add in this over here. And for the zero, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make a line going across the top, put that back in, line going across the bottom, put that back in, line going across the side, put that back in, line going across the other side, put that back in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that in right here because uh because it's very similar to the A oh and then a border, a red border. And it will be easier so you don't have to just make another thing, a whole new thing for the 8. It's, you'll see what I mean in a second. So now I'm going to make the 1. So line across in the corner here. Put that back in. Line going across the middle vertically. Put that back in. And then a base here. Put that back in with a border. Here's our 1. And for our A, what we're going to do is we're going to literally just pick up this red, this banner here, make a line going across the middle, horizontally, put that back in, and then a border. Because, like, we already had, like, the zero shape, and all eight is is a zero, just with a line, and, well, at least in Minecraft, that's what it is. All right, so that is pretty much it on how to build CP. 7018 in minecraft so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked and if you liked it please make sure to subscribe to the channel helps out a lot and uh yeah see you guys in the next video bye so i'm actually editing the video and i realized that i forgot some stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to fix that up. So what we're going to need to do here is we're going to take out this dark oak fence gate, add it in here, open that up. Right over here, add in an upper polished black stone brick slab. Go on to the other side. And then this dark oak trap door on top of this. Another one over here. And on this side, we're going to need this wither skeleton skull. Delete this trapdoor here, add in the wither skeleton skull. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to add in this little thing here. So we're gonna add in uh, maybe five. One, two, three, four. So four actually. So we're gonna add four of these upside down polished blackstone brick stairs. So one, two, three, and four. Skip three. And then add in polished wax stone brick stairs the rest of the way across. And we're going to add in dark oak fence gates. So for the other side, two, three, four, five. So for this side, it's going to be five black stone brick slabs. So one, two, three, four, five. Skip a block and then add in the rest of the way across. Dark oak fence gate here. Open that up. Alright, so that is it on how to build CP7021. So yeah, thanks for watching. I mean 7018. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.